All right, question six. A population of finches shows two beak types and three genotypes for the beak types. The finches seed diet is also shown. Now you might have gone, what did we just read? So let's look at this. Okay, shows two beak types. Let me look. Here's a beak type. Here's a beak type. Okay, so that's what they meant by two beak types. And it shows three genotypes for these beaks. So if I look, here's the genotypes. Genotype 1, genotype 2, genotype 3. And those are also represented over here on the bar graph. <coughs> now you'll see that if there are two of the same dominant gene, we're going to assume that this big B, big B stands for a big beaked bird. And that's a dominant trait. Now we also have a big beaked bird, but its genotype is different. It's got a dominant gene to have a big beak, but a recessive gene that shows a small beak. Now this small beak is recessive. Remember recessive traits only show up when they're paired with other recessive traits. And we have little b, little b, small beak, small beak. Obviously this is sexual reproduction because we get our genotypes from our parents. One gene came from mom, a second gene came from dad. In this case, this bird happens to be homozygous. And this bird is homozygous. That means they got the same exact trait from both their parents. Whereas this bird is heterozygous. It got one trait, big beak, from let's say mom, and small beak from dad. And so we can see that the big beak eats large seeds and nuts. The small one eats small, soft seeds. So let's see what happens next. The environment in which the finches live changes to be very rainy and wet. In this environment, the large nuts and seeds are very scarce, but the small, soft seeds are plentiful. So, who's that sound good for? Does it sound good for this bird or this bird? And if you're thinking this bird, you're right, because he eats small, soft seeds. So it sounds like the environment changed in a way that is it's good to be this kind of bird in that new environment. Click above the red lines on the graph here's the red lines to predict the changes the change in population beak genotypes if this environment change continues for 100 years. Red bars will appear next to the blue bars when you click on the red lines and there can be more than one correct answer. So I have this as a slideshow and just images so I can't actually click on this but if I could when I click on the red line, I could make it higher. So let's see. How would this change? So this, the answer for this, this beak is not like the best beak to have when there's lots of small soft seeds. Now, we're not going to say that this would become extinct because it said the large seeds and nuts are, are very scarce. It didn't say they were gone. So we could still have this bird but there's not going to be as many of them. So we need to show that the population of this bird would decrease. And you know, you can see I kind of have it at least like one level down. You could have had it two levels down. That would have been okay too. As long as you showed that there were going to still be more than zero. This bird, again, same thing. It eats the large seeds and nuts, which are not as common. So its population should also decrease, and, you should, and I've shown it decrease by at least a unit here. Um, again, you could have had it come to here, 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 as long as you had it above zero. But it could have been, your um, red bar could have been anywhere in between zero and um, this height, as long as it was below blue. Now this beak, it has lots of food. So when, it's when any of the birds are reproducing, when one of these are born, the environment has lots of food for them. So they're going to survive and reproduce and their numbers are going to get higher. So on this one you should make uh, realize to make the bar higher than the other ones. Now here's what the state actually said was the answer. Full credit responses include dominant capital B, capital B, and dominant capital B lowercase b genotypes lower on the bar graph than the blue bars by at least one unit but neither equal to zero. If I go back, we did that. The recessive, lowercase b, lowercase b, genotype higher on the bar graph than the blue by at least one level. Now remember, we did that too. 
Note, a population will equal zero if nothing is selected for that population. And we didn't do that. So remember, we made sure to make, we knew that these wouldn't go extinct. There was still some of its food, but definitely the number should go down.